right, we have a Walmart big but mini co uh, Walmart haul. I was going to say Costco. I'm so used to saying Costco. So this is some Easter goodies that we got for the kids. We'll start with the baskets. We have really good baskets that we got from Target a few years ago, but everything's still packed up and we moved the dead of winter, so we're not really sure where everything is. So we got these cheap baskets. They used to be 99 cents or 89 cents, something like that, but they're $1.24 now. Still not bad. And if the kids break them, that's fine. I just don't want them to break our good baskets, considering we're not completely at all a little bit organized at the moment. So we ended up getting nine baskets and then we got this stuff. We don't buy that plastic stuff. It's not good or safe. This is just crinkled paper. If some flies out of their basket, it's okay. It will compost into the ground. If the dogs get a hold of it, which they won't, it won't hurt them. That plastic stuff is not safe for the environment or animals or children. It's just not safe, even though it's cheaper. Try to spend a little bit more money and get the paper stuff. So we got nine bags of this for each of the baskets. And they come in different colors. Like there's, I didn't see any green ones there, but they have yellow, pink, and blue. And I know green would be nice for the grass, but it's just not safe. I think even straw, I didn't think about it. We, should, we could have done a straw too. Yeah, but that's messy. It is messy. Uh, okay, so we got these two, these little gummy treats for their, their Krabby Patties. We got the boys all these, so five of these. The girls some peeps, they love marshmallows. We got three of those. And of course, Arabella can't eat these, so we got the, her very limited things, like probably put some baby food in there or something like that. We'll come up with some random stuff that's appropriate for her. Maybe some new rattles or something we'll yep. have you pick up in, when you're in town. Absolutely. So Hershey Little Kisses, they have the Reese's ones too, but I opted to go for the Bunny Rabbit. It's easy chocolate, so we got eight of these. These are just classic jelly beans put inside their plastic eggs we're going to hide for them. So we got three bags of those. We need to get, what, three more of these? Two more. Two more. Well, three if you include me. Okay, so we need to get five Nine more of these. More. <laughs> these are the chocolate-covered marshmallow eggs. Those are my favorite thing for Easter. They always have been. I like the Cadbury eggs, but those jack me up until, like, they're, they're like poison. So good, though. Anyways, we've got some of these. Some, I was like, what's in the background? A diaper and a dollar bill. Some blankets some straws skittles i think we got eight of these so we're buying for nine kids but the baby's gonna have different stuff so some things are nine some things are eight most of the things are eight because we arabella can't eat stuff like this she is found these found these on one of the little clearance racks we go to the walmart in heber city freaking amazing it's clean they always have a whole bunch of stuff in their clearance selections are like the best I've seen since living I mean, in Oklahoma yeah so it's hard to go there and not shop every clearance thing even their their kids clothing and women's clothing clearance everything on the rack is $13 or less yeah really good deals so these were a dollar each this is a fruity pebble cake kit it comes with everything the confetti cake the frosting the fruity pebble cereal oh for a dollar freaking dollar and then the same with this over here. It's the cookie dough kit. It includes the cookie mix, the frosting, and the sprinkles to make this freaking dollar. It's a good Those deal. Those look awesome. Right? So and who doesn't like, if you don't like Fruity Pebbles, you're not American. Freya's mad in the background because there's a commercial on and she's watching Roma Diana. So you're wondering why she's in the background yelling? That would be why. Hey. Twinkies. Chris said the Twinkies were a must. Because you got those and those. I don't know why YouTube right. does that. Yeah. But like I'll turn on the show like Roma Diana. In the next video I'll play like Masha and Bear. Or what's that other show Freddie doesn't like? Uh, Ryan. I mean anything that she <laughs> doesn't appreciate at that moment. Yeah. It changes every day. But it's like when you turn on something on YouTube. Why does it go through random other things that it just. And then Blippi. Blippi is another one that makes the kids all mad. Anyways back to the haul Twinkies. Chris said the Twinkies are a must. Because I got some treats I'll show you guys over there. On the gluten free side. As well as the moon pies. This is tempting. Who doesn't like a moon pie? Um, stay outside. Oh, wait. Where's your bunny? I said you got my bunny. No, and there's sunnies on them. Okay. Go play. We can't let the kids in right now, obviously, because they'll see this. 
so they're outside playing with the soccer ball which is not in the hall because they're outside playing with their new soccer ball but moon pies who doesn't like a moon pie these are freaking so are you yeah benjamin <laughs> they're trying so hard to come in here <laughs> a double decker who doesn't i mean they come in i don't know what i'm saying but that looks good some of these bunny egg hunt mix we'll put them in their baskets it just looks like an old school fun little thing i remember having little random chocolates like this in my baskets as a kid some easter plates some napkins two of these lemonade one thing i've been wanting and liking to drink is lemonade i've done that with a few of my pregnancies just wanted lemonade all the time so one of these these are really good and then two of these, these are just for deviled eggs, a little Easter inspired, probably do a Easter little party outside for the kids. Everything is melting out there, so that's really nice and it could be really fun. So we'll see how the weather is on Easter. Toothbrushes for some of the kids, they got squished by the girls sitting in the basket. That's why they look all messed up and jacked up like that. But some of these toothbrushes, we have adult sizes for the big boys, so need some fresh toothbrushes after all that I'm sure the dentist is gonna love them come June when they go in and then there are nine of these and that's because Arabella can sit on the ground or her little high chair seat that she does not like and she can just gnaw on this it will melt in her mouth a little treat for Arabella she will be she turning nine months or ten months this month nine, nine months tomorrow, this month tomorrow, uh, tomorrow? Yeah, a few days go play what? Yeah, go, go they're play, trying so hard to come inside to look at this Easter stuff and then some bibs we have a ton of Kate Quinn bibs but again they're packed up into the spring stuff so these will hold us over until I pull out their spring clothes which is almost time we're not quite there yet but we're almost there so these will work in the meantime they got the little wet protective thing this is one thing that the Kate Quinn's don't because they're organic cloth so these will keep them dry but the Kate Quinn stuff won't keep them dry like Arabella. Two of these Easter cups. They're just old school dyeing Easter egg cups. Super simple, easy. There is what? How many cups are in here? Normally six. Two, four, five. It's ten cups. The kids can all share their colors. This is for Chris for the shop. He does something with the Listerine. I can't remember. What did you tell me you do? I make my black and gray dilution solution. Black and gray solution dilution with this. So. That's what that's for. Huggies, natural care. We needed some diaper wipes. We do need to make a huge Costco haul, which will be coming up, but not right now. We don't have the room. I need to organize this trailer that has gone a little bit messy while I was suffering morning sickness. These are new at Walmart, these big boxes. I haven't seen them there before. And after I put this in the basket, Chris pointed out, so if you're a wick mama, these are covered by wick at least in our area so there was a wick sign underneath this this is 16 two packs of wonder foods and there's different variety of boxes that wick approves so keep your eyes open at your walmart if you are a wick mama and yeah it comes with four banana orange melodies four banana apple pear three carrot sweet potato potato pea sweet potato apple pumpkin and two prune apples so keep your eye out for those because that's really convenient to just grab a box rather than a ton of those little containers so we thought it would be a good time to introduce arabella to meat we don't give our babies meat plain like open this up warm it up and just feed it to them that's disgusting we think i mean maybe it's okay i don't know but we always mix our baby stuff for example this is beef or we would put like half of this in a container cup jar whatever you want to warm your baby food up in and half sweet potato so beef sweet potato is a good one to have your babies try beef carrot, beef, carrot yeah Arabella's not too fond of carrots. Yeah, she like carrots she likes sweet stuff she got a sweet tooth sweet potato turkey would be great or sweet potato chicken mm, turkey and um, applesauce <laughs> that would be a good sweet one Chicken and apples, another huge favorite with the kids. So just ideas if you're going to be a new mom. Things you can try mixing your meats in to get your babies to like them. Because we've had some picky babies. And when I was a first time new mom, I tried to give my babies this just from the jar, warming it up. And they were just like, what the hell are you feeding me? So there's ideas. 
and then these right here freya is still very textures she won't eat certain things unless they're cooked and these are just fast things to these are for six months and up too so we thought these would be just fun to grab for her give her some fresh vitamins fruits and veggies that she'll eat that we don't have to worry about like she won't eat a peach she'll eat bananas she'll eat steamed carrots won't eat pears won't eat blueberries she used to eat blueberries but now it's a texture thing and she won't so this is just another idea if you have picky children that won't eat vegetables or fruits don't listen to anybody that's going to give you crap and say oh my gosh you're giving your babies baby food they're too old for that it's extremely rude it's inconsiderate and very ignorant so you do what you need to do to feed your babies or toddlers or even big kids or most importantly special needs kids or your husband or you're, you're an idiot he doesn't eat these what they now you made me lose track because you're so dumb what they i was i was feeling smart there for a minute and you jacked it up thanks i was feeling smart ass oh yeah i could tell so you just do uh, you do what you need to do as a parent to get your child or husband i guess to eat and had doing youtube and showing my hauls all the just shit talking i've given i've gotten especially giving my special needs child because freya will be turning six in july things like this what would they like me to give her like sugar all the time don't listen to the haters don't listen to your family feed your baby what they're going to eat if your baby's eight years old and this is all they're going to eat give it to them it's healthy so that's my little spiel for the day that was going really great until chris interrupted me <laughs> so this is for arabella it's oatmeal we've cut in freya's gluten so um freya and i'll get to that why i mentioned that but this is oatmeal if you are not doing gluten for your child for any reason this has wheat in it so it contains wheat this is a no-no the arabella is okay this also is a little bit she hasn't had this one she likes the banana probiotic one arabella loves that one that's her favorite one with this but this time we figured let's try the whole wheat apple blueberry chris spotted this and we're gonna give her a try on that she's not really too fond of the strawberry one so i no, think she likes it does she like it now oh, yeah okay she likes it now mommy doesn't know daddy knows so that is what we do for our girls and i know it's a hot topic some parents don't agree with things like this but we do and it works for our family and then these i saw on the clearance rack and the only thing that I saw when I grabbed these was the dollar and chocolate. And I thought, oh, these would be cool to slap on some cookies or cupcakes or whatever. What I didn't notice is they're keto friendly and there's no sugar added. So these have stevia in it. So my kids probably aren't going to care. And it is dairy free. So that's a thing too. But they're originally $6.92 and we got them for a dollar. So we got four of those. Now to make uh, now to make up for children's multivitamins or for now kids eat vitamins vitamins. And so if you remember, you'll see that I've pulled out my gardening totes. Chris bought me back some fresh soil, and we're gonna mince some fresh soil into our old soil from last year. Not old, but last year's soil, and get it all prepped and ready to grow. We're, it's about that time for us to start growing things. So they had a whole bunch of these options out at Walmart, and I saw these try christus <laughs> how do you say that word trick what this flower it's a perennial it returns each year and doesn't it look cool plant impartial to full sun we have like full sun all like it's we're in the middle of the dang desert great for border borders excellent cut for flower i do need to see if these are poisonous so that's something i do need to look up Chris is trying now. He wants to correct me on what I'm trying to read. Hold on. I'm saying trichritis. So I would say trichritis. Okay. I wasn't too far off. Anyways, onion sets. You can plant those up. That's pretty exciting. More strawberries to add to our strawberry containers. And now that we've actually bought them and this is our home, we can get a big thing of just dedicated to strawberries, which is really exciting. All my children love strawberries. Potato seeds, got some of these, got some red potato seeds, some garlic. So that's pretty exciting. It's about time for us to, to plan up. 
And then these sweet potatoes, my whole spill about this up here goes for this. If this is what your child will eat, your toddler, your preschooler, your 10 year old, whatever, if this is how you can get good things into them, do it. Don't listen to anybody because it's just pureed, you know, goodness. So this is, I'm avoiding gluten for Freya because of her Hashimoto's and I'm trying to get her eczema flares to calm down. I think something in her body is triggering her just to be, it's just, it's what works for our family. So this one may, the oats may contain wheat. If it may contain wheat for my family, that's okay because Freya is not celiacs, celiacs. So this will work. The may contain will work for us. But if your child is celiacs, don't do, don't chance that. I'm not a professional, but just don't, don't, I wouldn't do that. Same with this. This is brown rice. So that's okay. But always check your things. I'm not a professional and I'm not a perfect mother. I just try to do my best in giving my children things that they'll eat. Piper still eats these as well. And Lemon does as well. Austin still eats these. I mean they're they're healthy they're like a little smoothie in a packet so don't listen to anybody that's telling you that you're being a bad parent by feeding your kids this because of the age on it they can suck it mouth rinse coffee i still can't drink coffee normally i can't drink coffee until i'm about 16 weeks i'm turning 11 weeks but i don't think i'm going to be able to do it but i'm going to give it a shot with some whole lactose free milk this pregnancy is totally jacking me up everything triggers me so i'm still gluten free and lactose free right now i'm gonna give it a shot with this and some of that little coffee syrup what's that called chris what's that the, the trani the trani syrups and try to i don't think it's gonna work but if it won't work chris will drink it some syrup until we go to costco and get the good stuff this was just cheap in there and we're out so we needed that hot chocolate mix for the kids and then i saw this on the shelf what is this for seen on tiktok on instagram obviously i don't do these social medias so what is this for what's it taste like i got it because it contains coconut nothing else so i'm gonna try it because there's no lactose in it there's no wheat in it and if i'm not seeing it call me out but what do you use it for what's it taste like is it good i'm gonna try it i'll tell you guys if i can remember and then orange juice, we got a little one because we don't have a lot of storage room. So this will just take care of the family that wants it tonight, the people in our family, and it won't get wasted. Two loaves of bread just to have. We normally grab the better bread, but this was in my view and I just grabbed it because we needed it. Doesn't this look good? Chris is going to try this. This does have dairy in it. It's made with real milk and cream, but cinnamon churro, that looks freaking good. So I'll probably take a little sip of that just to get the little flavoring and see what it tastes like. But if you haven't tried it, that looks something like really good to try. It reminds me of one of those like a snickerdoodle thing at Starbucks. And rice cereal. So this is what I was talking about over there about the whole gluten thing. I know people have issues with this. Freya has always run low in iron. Her white blood count's always low. So that's a sign of being iron deficient. And I try to give her everything that has iron in it. Freya... I just figured out by feeding Arabella, we'll eat this. So if I mix this in with applesauce, she'll eat it. It does contain soy in this in it. So it just says contain soy right there. But it's gluten free. And um, my baby will eat it. My big girl will eat it. So we got two of those. Some Taco Bell hot sauce. Another thing we eat around here is refried beans a lot that's another thing my picky eater will eat is refried beans also gluten-free and put a little bit of this on it and make it taste like taco bell change up the flavor and i don't see anything in here containing wheat so that is pretty cool i thought on taco bell's packets it says contains wheat but i don't see anything on here and if i'm missing it because my eyes are bouncing all over the place call me out but i don't see any wheat these are gluten-free bunny grams, good snack. Haven't seen these before. These are plant-based and gluten-free. Mr. Beast cookies. Let you guys know how they taste, but there is none of that stuff in it. There is soy in it and tree nuts, coconut. Got those ones and the peanut butter chocolate chip. 
when the other kids are having their treats and I or I make their treats, I can offer those to Freya. I don't think she'll eat those because it's a texture thing. So I don't think she'll eat those. But she will eat these once in a great while. These are also gluten and soy and peanut, dairy, nuts, all free. So these are really good. These are just everything free. Vanilla wafers. Gluten-free Oreos. These legit taste just like a freaking Oreo. They nailed the texture and everything. This is something else my pick eater will eat as well as myself is these oreos and did you know they're accidentally vegan so if you didn't know now you know the regular or the regular oils the regular oreos are i think these ones are too it's basically the same thing i should have checked that yep contains soy so a lot of this stuff does contain soy so if you're avoiding soy you're gonna have to look at the packages we're not at the moment gluten-free buttermilk pancakes another favorite for my picky eater i make homemade other ones from scratch and i've done a batch of gluten-free pancakes for Freya and myself th over this weekend while i made the other members of our family regular pancakes but that's me making two different things from scratch and it just takes a lot of effort making so many pancakes especially feeding you know eight other kids nine other eight seven other kids on top of my husband it's just easier to have something put together like this. These are buttermilk, so it is contains milk, but they're gluten-free. And I've had these before. They're really good. Gluten-free pretzels. Those are really good. Slap them some stuff on it and eat them. These are also really good. I don't like gluten-free bread, but these sandwich rolls. But these sandwich rolls are really good, especially if you cut them in half. You can make a pizza out of them. They're worth the price. If you're gonna go gluten free, but the loaves of bread they just taste like crap. So I got a two pack, so there's four of those. And these Yum Earth organic licorice are gluten free, but they're also like a whole bunch of other stuff, they're allergy friendly. So all that stuff vegan, gluten free, organic, colored with real fruits and vegetables, made without all that crap right there. So that's pretty cool. And then I tried to be healthier wearing less like chemical-y stuff and I ordered this mineral, or Chris picked me up this mineral mascara and it makes my eyes burn. So I'm just gonna go back to Maybelline and try to make my, my eyelashes look all like that, which they probably won't, but I'm gonna try. And then down here, these are just chocolate covered raisins. Another treat for Frey to have when the other kids are having their treats over there. These are made with whole fruit and they're healthy they're just covered in chocolate so it says they may contain tree nuts egg and wheat again we're not worried about the may contain because Frey is not celiac disease and I have already said this bill so we're not worried about the may contain part and then I think that's it we do have a case of 60 count eggs to color as well as two gallons of regular milk and oh my god candy hold on is get that cotton candy and i did order some baby bottle pops they came in a pack of three and i let the kids eat those in the van for being good these are cotton candy i got that for myself it's pure sugar probably kill me but they didn't have a cover on it chris said they're not supposed to i got this underneath of the case lock. like like there's a, a rack of them and i picked up the thing and i got this from underneath of it there was no cover on it, so um, I hope they're okay because I'm eating it. But I thought there would be like a plastic filmy pill off. There wasn't. I'm still going to eat it and hope for the best. So there's that. And then Chris scored on some tools. How did I drop these? Nope, that's the thing I can't say. I already forgot how to say it. Tricritus. Chris saw this walking inside Walmart. It is just, I don't really know what this is. But it's a little toolkit, whatever that is right there. Like a little upside down sticker on it. I don't know. Yeah. So it's this, whatever this is, is regularly $98. $49. It's just a matchbox, match set box set. Are there ratchets in there? What is that? There's ratchets, wrenches, uh, Allen wrenches. It's just a little mechanic set. So you got that 50 bucks, it's half off, not bad. So yeah. That right there, that right there is our almost $600 Walmart haul for Easter and baby foods and 
talking and spills and things like that. Forgot about these. I shoved them in the freezer. I need to defrost my freezer. That's what that crap is right there. But these are gluten-free chicken breast nuggets. Another eat an eater thing. They come in bigger size for the other kids. My kids like the dino nuggets. Arabella's mad. Chris is making her You making her mad. She's getting hick angry. Anyways, these are really good. Kids like them. So I found some gluten-free ones for Miss Freya. Also, we received these in the mail. These did not come with a name receipt in there. So we got two of these from our P.O. box. Different colors. And then two of these mess-free coloring pads. I was laughing because one of my uh, when one of my videos, I think it was a member's video, my er, my Miss Piper was coloring and she had markers all over herself. So I was laughing. I was like, someone said, hey, get those markers off your kid. Sent us that. We also got a packet. I think this is from you maybe, Lisa? Because we got another packet from Lisa Barda and it did have... Uh, from who it was and it was a car set the boy no it was a paw patrol set with these markers in it and like 23 coloring pages of paw patrol those are in the boys' bunk right now because they're coloring them they're coloring with them but the boys absolutely love these so lisa did you get these for us too because they came in two different packages or if lisa you didn't get these it's kind of funny because that means two of you ladies but sent me mess free coloring markers which i think is i think that's funny and it's super helpful because man they color on everything as much as I try to get them to not color on things. They do. And these are really cool. So thank you, Lisa, if you got us all this. Thank you for the Paw Patrol stuff, Lisa. And if Lisa, if you didn't buy us this, do leave down in the comment if it was you. We appreciate these and we like them. We also got a little game from Lisa. Piper, get down. You're going to fall. This little game right here, the Spotted Animals Jr. So... Thank you again, Lisa. My kids are extremely excited. We just received these uh, last night when Chris returned back from town. Thank you. Ordered these from Amazon. Chris is holding Arabella in the background. She's teething, so she's not a happy girl. Anyways, these are gluten-free corn pastas. My kids really like SpaghettiOs, especially Freya. That's my picky eater, so I'm trying to give you picky eater moms an idea on things but my kids really like spaghettios so i figured i could try and make a mock spaghettio with these little spaghetti oh looking gluten-free pastas that's what those are i ordered these from amazon i'll try to remember to leave the amazon link down below i always forget so call me out if i don't and i think that's it. oh there's one more thing else i could show you guys This right here, Ainz likes to be fed first thing in the morning, and sometimes the girls overwhelm us, so we try to tag team and get all the babies fed. This is a for cats or dogs. It's an automatic pet feeder. We got this from Amazon. We obviously haven't used it yet, but I will leave the link down below. And you just set the timer, and it'll automatically feed your animal. We're hoping Ainz doesn't knock the lid off and eat the whole thing, but I'm sure there's some kind of latch on there because... Yeah, mine's a super freaking smart dog. We also got a kit, a set, a box from Katie from Rouse Rising. I haven't opened that yet, but I need to open that up and I'll share with you guys what Katie sent. Or maybe I won't. Oh, that's Katie. So that is our two little Amazon shipping things that we got. There's our little hole for you guys. While I was in town this week, one of the big runs that I was making was a Home Depot run. Got nine bags of garden soil on 18 bags of mulch. Both of these are on sale right now at Home Depot on ad for three for 10. I also grabbed a couple four cubic foot wheelbarrows. Huh, never mind the gar bag of garbage right there. Three homer buckets and lids. Wood stakes. Surveyor stakes. Right there, sorry. An industrial sprayer for some bleach solution. And surveyor's tape. And I also grabbed Bye. 
Bosch rotor, rotary laser so I can start leveling everything out, getting stuff ready for the deck and for grading everything out when we get the, the backhoe. But all this stuff that I got there, um, all in all, I mean, that was 700 for the for the laser, uh, rotary laser. Um, the rest of that came to about $250 uh, for all the gardening supplies and stuff. Not too bad of a trip. I needed the laser. That's mandatory. I've been needing to buy one for a while. So, um, and I got the bigger kit. So 1,000 um, foot kit. So definitely help out quite a bit because this is all going to be leveled out and there's going to be a deck right here that we end up putting the kitchen tent onto so uh, yeah got all that stuff done now i'm putting some stuff away while tammy's in there doing another haul for 